How's it going guys? Julian Bradley here from TheMusicalEar.com. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you one of my favorite chord progressions of all time. And this was actually taken from my recent video called Sweet Jazz Piano Chords, but I've put in some deleted scenes which didn't make it into that video. Now I've also notated the sheet music for you. You can download the sheet music to this progression as well as five other chord progressions in a very similar style. You can download that for free at the link below this video. And the technique that these chord progressions uses is that basically I start by writing a simple chord progression that just uses major and minor chords. B flat major, C minor, and then A flat major for two measures. And again, this is in the key of C minor. So that's my starting chord progression, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a specific chord voicing to this basic chord progression. Now the chord voicing I'm going to use is known as the Kenny Barron chord voicing. You've probably heard me talk about this before, but this voicing built from C is a stack of fifths built from the root. So if we're doing a C minor 11 chord, we'll have C, G and D, a stack of fifths. And then in the right hand, we'll build another stack of fifths from the minor third. And this is a very nice chord voicing. I use it in just about every jazz standard that I play somewhere, especially if there's a C minor seven chord and the melody note is an F, then it would just be rude not to play this chord voicing. But we can also apply this pattern to a major seven chord. So the left hand just stays the same but instead of building the right hand fifths from the minor third, we're gonna build the fifths from the major third. And now we have what's called a C major seven chord with a sharp four. Four is the same as 11. It's just a thing we have in jazz where on minor chords, we call this note the 11th, whereas on a major seven chord, we call it a sharp four, but it's the same note. So this is a really nice chord voicing and what we're going to do is we're going to apply this voicing to our chord progression that we already wrote. So every time we have a minor chord in the chord progression, I'm going to play the minor 11 voicing and every time we have a major chord in the chord progression, I'm going to play the major version. So let's apply this to the chord progression that we started with. B flat major, C minor, and then A flat major for two measures. Now the reason I want to show this chord progression is that it has a different voicing for this B flat major chord. Now, of all the chords that you could play within C minor, there's one chord which presents a bit of a problem with this voicing, and that's the B flat major chord. For this chord progression, we could use the same technique and just voice it like this, like I showed you. And some people might like the sound of that. However, for me, it doesn't quite work here the way I want it to. So what I end up doing here, is I take this Kenny Barron voicing, but then I just shift this right hand up a half step. I end up playing what sounds like a sus4 voicing. So all I'm doing is I'm playing a stack of fifths in the left hand from B flat, but then I'm playing more like a C minor right hand part where I build from E flat, B flat, F. So it's sort of like a C minor 11, except the bass is shifted down to B flat. So here we've basically invented our own chord voicing for a sus4 and it's based on the Kenny Barron sort of idea but we've just modified it to fit with our needs for this chord progression. And 
it goes to C minor. Now I could just keep my right hand here. However, it doesn't really sound like it's moving anywhere if I just keep my hand here. So what I do in this example is I revoice it to what is another really nice chord voicing, but which does require quite a stretch. Has. However, we're arpeggiating this, so everyone should be able to just jump up and hold down the pedal. So those two chords. It sounds pretty nice. Those could just be your two chords, that could be your chord progression. However, we're going to keep moving to the A flat major chord. How are we going to voice it? Well, I should voice it with a stack of fifths in the left hand and a stack of fifths in the right, starting from the major third of A flat, which is C, which would be like this. However, the last chord I voiced like this, and the top note was also D for that, and to keep the chords feeling like they're moving forward, sometimes a good idea to change the top note, because that top note sort of sounds like a melody to your ear. So I'm actually going to modify the voicing, I'm going to just play a C instead here, and then I'm going to revoice it the second time just to keep the movement going. then the progression loops. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up, or if you could share this video with a friend. Now you can download the sheet music to this chord progression, as well as five other chord progressions in a similar style just by clicking on the link below this video. And if you want even more chord progressions, where well, you can check out my new ebook bundle called Best Chords in the World, and that gives you 30 sweet chord progressions, comping patterns, and riffs. And you can download those at bestchordsintheworld.com. I'm Julian Bradley, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.